Hey, greetings everyone. This is Lieutenant Colonel Allen West. I'm a gubernatorial candidate for the Republican nomination here in the state of Texas. Uh, we were invited here to Friendship West Baptist Church for a candidate forum. As you see, there are other candidates standing here with me. But we were just informed as we were getting ready to go in that we could not enter unless we had a mask. And that was something that I had not been notified of. And these other candidates have said they have, were not notified of the same thing. And so I asked the organizer, if I'm sitting there on the stage, do I have to have a mask on in order to participate in the, uh, in the forum? And I did not get an answer. The bottom line is this. We have got to get back to understanding the rule of law, not edicts, orders, mandates, and decrees. And I'm sick and tired of my personal individual freedom being usurped by people making these rules uh, on their own. And so it's interesting that I'm standing under this incredible banner here. And when you think about this banner, Black Lives Matter, it's on a black church. I want to ask, the founders of Black Lives Matter said that they're avowed Marxists, trained Marxists. What does Karl Marx have to do with the black church? And especially as we're getting ready to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr., someone that I'm somewhat acquainted with since I grew up in the exact same neighborhood that he was born and raised in and preached in. And so I thought that this would be a great opportunity to be here to, in a black church, in the black community, because people always say, well, you know, those black Republicans, those conservatives, they never come into the black community. But yet I just pretty much so got shunned and told to go away. My personal health is my personal responsibility. It's not the responsibility of anybody in there to tell me where I can go, where I cannot go. And what you just saw happen in Australia with the tennis star uh, Novak did, Dokovic, I don't want to see that happen in America, where people are told if you're not vaccinated, if you don't have a mask, you can't go to certain places. That's not what Dr. King wanted, because I remember once upon a time you were told that you couldn't go to certain places because of the color of your skin. And it's interesting how history takes an incredible shift, but it's still the same premise. So I just thought that we would all come out here and have this little mini press conference to let folks know. And once again, here we are showing up for an ability to talk about our thoughts, perspectives, and insights on the issues that are facing us here in Texas, all Texans. But yet we're being denied entry because someone wants to make a decision for my own personal health and against my own personal freedom. I'm Tracy Bradford. I'm running for Lieutenant Governor of the state of Texas. And I was really looking forward to being here today to be able to have some exchange of ideas and to share why we do what we do and why we think the way we do. And one of the things that was really on my heart to talk about today was identity and how important our identity is. And from day one, the mask to me was just a representation of shutting us down. Y'all, the other day we were celebrating when the Supreme Court ruled in favor uh, that we did not have to have uh, vaccine mandates. Why are we celebrating having to beg back our freedoms? We need to be clear on the rule of law. We need to be clear on what our rights are. And it's a shame that today we're not going to be able to have these conversations with people who may not think the same way that we do. Obviously they don't, but at least we could have the conversation. So I'm really disappointed to come over here this afternoon and not be allowed to have that time. So my name is Aaron Sorrells. I am also running for Lieutenant Governor of Texas. And basically what they said. You know, the fact is we came here as Republicans to speak to people that didn't believe what we believe in. We came here to talk about individual liberties and, and we're being our individual liberties are being trumped right now by a policy that, that's not in law. There is no restrictions in Dallas. There's no right for them to stop us from coming to this building. It was not on our invitations. We, they knew our policies before they asked us to come to this and yet they, they did not allow us to enter the building. So the fact is we're not basing this in fact, we're basing this in control, and that's what the mask have been about the entire time. It's about controlling our liberties as Texans, as Americans, as everything. And the and, and thing is, this is a church with Black Lives Matter listed on the building. And I don't know about anybody else, but I believe under God, we're all brothers and sisters. So what does it matter what my skin tone is? But that's what they're doing right now. They knew by inviting the Republican candidates to this forum, they knew our stances on masks. They thought they would put us in this position and make us look bad instead of allowing us go in there and speaking because by speaking, maybe we would have influenced and made those people in this church realize that we're not such bad people and that we will stand and fight for them just like anybody else will. But now we know the reality. They did this as a, as a ploy to set us up and now we're having to do a mini press conference to correct what they said to us, so. Hey everybody, Kelvin Goodwin Castillo, District 30. I want everybody to take a look at the people next to you. 
what you see here is unification, right? We all decided as a group not to go in and change who we are. Our identity speaks for us. When you look at the people that walked in and the people that are standing out here today, we don't have masks on, but it shouldn't be a mask that separates us from the other side of the aisle. It should be ideology. We should all come together and talk about what we can do to make Texas better, Dallas better, and America better. You know, Colonel West and I share something in common. We both serve the United States Army, okay? And one of the things that we do in the military is we plan. We look at contingencies. We look at notes. We look at emails. So when the organizer says that an email and notes were sent out saying that they informed us that we had to wear a mask, that's something that people in the military specifically pay attention to. And I can vouch for everybody here, we did not receive any notification. Because if we did, we would have planned and then we would have executed. And today, it was a failure on the Democrats' part because they want to play identity politics. Remember, this is America. People who have served in the United States military in all branches, people who are first responders, we support American virtues and American values and it's time that we make a change and tell the Democrats and the liberals that we are here to bring America back. I'm Eugene Ralph and I'm a local precinct chair for the Republican Party of Dallas. And what I want to tell you is that what we're witnessing here is no surprise to me to some degree. But the most disgusting part is I had a copy of the email that I forwarded to this man right here and several other people to let them know about this event. And nowhere in that email did it say anything about masks. Now the sad reality is we have people who believe that are connected to churches that they should force that upon their, their constituents. And if the people who attend those churches want to buy into that, that's their business. But when you welcome people into your place who are not a part of what you are, you should recognize the fact that they may not agree with that and let them know up front what, they, what they're getting into. Because I'll tell you right, right up front, there's a whole lot of things I'd rather be doing on a Sunday afternoon than standing out here having a press conference about why I couldn't get into a building about a mask. But I do get a chance to be with some friends, so that's, that's always a plus. The point I'm making here is this. One of the founding fathers says eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. Eternal vigilance means you never stop fighting for that which you believe in, even to the death if it's required. We will stand for our liberty regardless of the consequences. Come with me. Hi, Benjamin Rigoli Jr. I'm a precinct chair. This is my first time being a precinct chair. And um, the number one thing is things that they've just said right here. And uh, that's we're all Americans and to be able to talk to people that disagree with us and agree with us is the number one goal. And, um, you know, allowing things uh, to get in the way is not what this country is founded on, you know? And so be able to be Americans and be able to be uh, telling each other uh, things we don't uh, disagree with and things that we do agree with. Communication is the number one thing that matters. And so God bless. I think it's a shame that the Dallas chapter, the alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta sorority would pull this political stunt. And we were honored to be here, as everyone said, to share thoughts, perspectives, and insights, to talk about the issues that we're facing here in Texas. Issues that doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, what have you. It's just the issues of what's right and what's wrong. And getting back to understanding the fundamental relationship between the individual, their rights, freedoms, and liberty, and the institution of government. And obviously, there are some people that are really wedded to power and control. And they told us we could not go into this church, participate in this event, which I think is one of the most un-American things. I would have never thought in all the years that I served in the United States Army, and my father, my older brother, my nephew now, and others, that we would be told we cannot go into a certain building especially the church, which is supposed to be our very first liberty. So God bless you all, and God bless Texas.